All right, for hip internal rotation pales rails in the sundial position, I'm gonna start with the kettlebell between my legs in a tabletop position. So I'm working the right leg, I'm gonna extend the left leg. From here, if I'm at a 12 o'clock on a, on a dial, I'm gonna walk to 1 a.m. Okay, spine is straight. If that's a good stretch for you, we can work right there. Then I'm gonna to walk to two o'clock on the dial. If two is enough, perfect, we'll work there. And then we'll walk to three. That's probably gonna be everybody's maximum unless you have insane internal rotation. So from here, I am in hip internal rotation. The kettlebell's blocking me. We're gonna stretch this stretch for two minutes. After two minutes, I'm gonna tuck the pelvis and I'm gonna start my pails. Pails is gonna be pushing into the kettlebell, trying to slide that hip back into a neutral position. And then rails is gonna be pulling off the kettlebell, trying to slide more into internal. So here we go, we build tension, start pressing at 30%, pressing into that kettlebell. Double that intensity, press at 60. Okay, take a breath in, trap the air at 60, and drive into that kettlebell at 90. 100%, we're here for eight seconds. Driving, six, five, harder, four, tuck the pelvis, abs in, three, two, nothing moves but the hip, and lift off from that kettlebell, squeezing into more internal rotation, driving up, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax.